Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I am Squishy the Titan, and welcome to part two of Within Deep Sorrows. Now, I, uh, I did look at a walkthrough, and uh, it told me where the flashlight was supposed to be. Or, I, I saw a video, I watched a little bit of Markiplier's video to see where it was. And it was supposed to have been right in here. I guess there's something I have to do in this room. I did have to restart it because I think my game just bugged. Because I had to completely restart my restart the PC. But, uh, yeah. I'm just looking around, trying to figure out what is up with this. But, yeah. Uh, in the last video... We started out, uh, within Deep Sorrows, got pretty much no, uh, it, um, instruction on what to do, where to go, or how to proceed. But, yeah. So far, the, uh... Oh! There they were! Okay. Oh. Okay. That looks like that's a thing. I'm sorry, I gotta check something real quick. Alright. So, I guess that happened. Once again, sorry for the annoyingly green headset now. Uh, I left my headset at- Hey! Give me that back. I want to do things, and progress, and play this game. Uh... Oh, okay. It's left click to turn it on. Alright, so now I can, uh, and right click to turn it off. That's weird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Control is jump. Anyway, now we can move on into the... Unrel... Yeah, how about you stop that? Oh my... We can continue to move on into the unrelenting darkness. Where did I get that? Okay, none of these uh, pathways seem particularly inviting, but I'm just gonna go into the gym. I did take a couple steps into there before. So we can figure out what's up in here. Oh yeah, this. Forgot about that. Like I said, I did have to completely restart the game. What? You sound far closer than you were. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, let's go down here. This way. Alright, I don't think the batteries recharge or anything. But, oh! Scratches on the chalkboard! That must have sounded absolutely lovely. Okay, the power isn't very reliable. Okay! Um, I'll go the other way. I'm not welcome here. It would be greatly appreciated if you discontinued that. That does not make me happy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. You've made it rather clear that you're good at atmosphere. That you're good at the ambiance. Now please give me a direction in which I can... Yeah, how about you don't? 
How about you don't? That would be great. Thank you. Okay. This, uh, I, this game did come out a while ago. It was in December, I believe. Um, but I kept forgetting about it. I don't know why. I kept forgetting about it and, you know, just doing another Amnesia Custom story. But it's really good. So far, it's, it's very good. Not, not too shabby. They certainly know how to build the, uh, atmosphere. All right. All right, there's the front door. Why didn't I come in there? Why did I end up on my, laying on my side in the cave? Okie dokie! Let's play that game, I guess. Is there anything in here? Press E. Sack barrel? That's not a sack barrel, that's a freaking dolly. It's definitely a dolly. What do we got? Okay. We've got nothing. So I guess I'm just gonna run back to where the... God, I hate that noise. That noise is so discomforting and oh my god, that's dark. Like, you, I know I know a lot of my like early videos are uh, rather dark, but I mean, guys, black. That is all I see is black. It is not, not squishy comfort time. Oh. Well, that's cool. Uh, they, uh, is this, what is I in here already? Yes, I was. Okay. That's cool. They, uh, they let you know, like, where to use the items on. And, what? Oh, that is... That is just... Absolutely... That is amazing. That breathing is still... It's still really creepy, but like... It's... It sounds like it's getting closer every time... Uh. Every time. It sounds like it keeps getting closer to me and I don't want to find out what's on the other end of that breathing. You want to stop that? Something sounded like a power drill. Great. Great, we got monsters with power tools. Yes? Can I help you? Sup? There any significance to that room? No? Okay. That's... nope. No. That's just not good. That's not... It's not okay. Okay, what's down this hallway? Stop your molesty breathe. Stop your pedo molesty breathy. A lot of these sounds are beginning to loop. Uh, 
I have to go in the ladies' room? Excuse me? Okay. If you guys... I'm not going upstairs yet. I'm going to check out the room that I kind of, uh, beelined away from. If you guys aren't wearing headphones while watching this, I highly recommend you find some hand some headphones. These sounds are... I've said it before, Markiplier has said it before, but sound is absolutely paramount in a horror game. It is a almost bigger than visuals. Sound is what will really uh, get you because what you see isn't always the scariest part. It's what you hear. The ambient sounds like uh, in Amnesia, there was a lot of walking. Uh, like you could hear people walking floors above you. Um, and it's just general stuff like that is it's very very important in a horror game and this has it just about perfectly except so no why why that that was that was closed and boarded up before. But, um, yes, I'm sorry, that's loud. Oh, hey, there's water. Okay, I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Was there someone at the end of the hall? And this game, even with the, uh, you know, what you see, it's really, really good because, uh, most of the things that you see that are going to scare you or, like, make you jump is stuff that's going to be in your peripheral vision, stuff that you're not looking directly at, and then you have to wonder if it really even was there. And kudos to the guys or guy who developed this. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm not really sure if there's a threat yet, because I haven't been attacked by anything, but so far it's just absolutely fantastic. All right. Now I'm looking for something. I can't go in the ladies' room yet, I don't think, but there are arrows pointing me to it. Can I hop this? No. Can I pick you up? No. Okay, um... So far, I'm a little bit stuck. This flashlight is useless because it only points right in front of you. Okay, I guess. I, di I mean, I didn't really see that there at all. But I got a jemmy bar, which... It it's a crowbar. But I guess whatever you want to call it. This is- we are- we are dreaming right now in the story, so I guess it doesn't have to make perfect sense. Do I have to crowbar these down? No. I gotta crowbar this open. Great. Ugh. Um, there's an inappropriate joke there that I'm just not gonna make, considering we are in the ladies' bathroom and that. I'm sure you guys can put two and two together. Oh god, no. Oh dear sweet Christ, no. There's no escape. Yeah. I'm gonna believe that there's no escape from this one. They proved it with math. That, right there, that is some math. I know math when I see it. 
Anything toilet? Goody, key. Fuck that stall. Anything in this toilet? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, not gonna dick around with that stall. Oh god, I'll do it. I know you guys would probably never forgive me if I, if I did. Ah! <sighs> okay, I ran out of breath there. God damn it, I shouldn't have dicked around with that. Son of a bitch. Oh. I didn't even see what that was. Good God. It was so loud. Hey, what you doing? Sorry if I just overloaded the mic. Yeah, about that. Okay. I'm, um, I'm gonna have to end this video right here. Before I have to deal with any of those, like, hanging tongue things from Half-Life 2, or even Half-Life 1 as well. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about me. I am Squishy the Titan, and I will see you in part three of Let's Play Within Deep Sorrows. Holy crap. I'm still, like, out of breath from that. Bye, guys.